Good morning. It's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day, Wilderness 5. This is the end of the Wilderness Week series. Uh, I've enjoyed my five days in the wilderness with you in these video thoughts for the day. Uh, I, I'm not sure that 40 years of this would be my cup of tea, but uh, it's been a delight to get to think through wilderness with you. You know, this was started by, uh, I was in church uh, almost two weeks ago, Pastor Jarrett was uh, preaching and he spoke about uh, how uh, grumbling and complaining are huge sins with the Lord. And he referenced the Israelites grumbling and complaining in, in the wilderness. And I thought, you know, I grumble and complain a lot and uh, I need to do something about that. And, and that was the, the seed for this. And so through this week, I've talked about different lessons from the wilderness. I hope you'll get on YouTube. I hope you'll go back and I hope you'll listen to them. If you find any of them useful, like them, send them to other people, uh, whatever might uh, you might be led to do. But I want to end the way Moses ended the time for Israel in the wilderness. So this is after they have been in, in basically been in the wilderness for so long, it seems all they know. A whole generation seems to have come and gone, in essence. And, and, and the young generation has been in this forever, it seems. And Moses ends the, the wilderness time right before he dies and Joshua leads the Israelites into the promised land. Moses ends it, in the, uh, we read about it in the book of Deuteronomy, and he gives these summation speeches. It's kind of like, here are all of the lessons in summary form that you need to have grabbed hold of over the last 40 years. And it's a marvelous, marvelous summary with these sermons and this teaching that he does. And then right at the end, in fact, it's the next to last chapter, right at the end, he pronounces a blessing of God. And he blesses not just the general people, but he blesses them tribe by tribe by tribe because those who sustain through the wilderness not only as my friend Dieter wrote me has God been working in them but he also works for them and and so this wilderness experience is one that I pray for you brings the blessings of God anytime you find yourself in a wilderness and at the end of that blessing Moses says the following. He says, happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help and the sword of your triumph. I love that. The idea that even though you've been through a wilderness and even though I've been through a wilderness, we're able at the end to proclaim that we are saved by the Lord, that he's been our shield who's protected us as well as our sword who has triumphed for us and in us and through us. The wilderness is not any place anybody really chooses to go and camp for a long period of time in their life. But there are lessons that are learned in the wilderness that aren't learned anywhere else. And when God teaches us those lessons, difficult as they may be to learn, it, it, it changes and transforms who we are to his glory and to our benefit. And I think that's a marvelous way to look at the wilderness if we look from the end backwards. So you may be out of the wilderness, God bless you. I hope you're enjoying life. You may be in the middle of the wilderness. God strengthen you. I pray this will help your focus. You may be at the start of the wilderness. If so, fasten your seatbelt. Focus in on God. No grumbling and complaining. And walk through that wilderness holding on tightly to the Lord who is your shield to protect you and your sword to triumph for you. That's your video thought for the day. I'll see you next week.